Hi, uh, so in this section, we're going to talk about normal histology of stomach. My name is Mariam Peju, and this is my uh, email address. And you can also follow me on Twitter at, um, at Peju, it's my Twitter handle. So let's go over normal anatomy and histology of the stomach. Stomach lies in between esophagus and duodenum. You receive a food or bolus from the esophagus and the stomach, and stomach secretes acid and enzymes that help digest the food. There are four main anatomic regions in the stomach. The first one is cardia, which lies um, just after esophagus or gastroesophageal junction. The top portion of the stomach is fundus. And then the next one is body or corpus, which uh, comprise of 90% uh, of the stomach is the body. And then moving to antrum and uh, pylorus or pyloric sphincter, which is a muscular valve, which allows uh, passage of the food to the small bowel. So this is again another picture that you can see esophagus, um, gastroesophageal junction would be here. Cardio is the first segment of the stomach. And then the top portion is fundus, moving by the body. Um, and then um, there are a lot of rugae or folds in the stomach, which uh, will uh, let the stomach to expand when the food um, is entered and also will increase the surface of the stomach. Then moving to the antrum and pylorus into the duodenum. So this is the gastric wall. So gastrointestinal tract uh, is lined by um, basically four layer of cells. So one is the top portion is mucosa, underlying it is submucosa, muscularis propriaris externa is the next layer and serosa is the next. So this is the wall of gastrointestinal tract. So mucosa is different based on the locations you are. In the stomach, you have some epithelium, you have lamina propria and muscularis mucosa. So basically this is your epithelium. Lamina propria is a space between the epithelium and this thin layer of muscle is muscularis mucosa. Submucosa is the next um, uh, section, which is um, mainly uh, composed of fat and some um, fibrous tissue and also lots of blood vessels and lymphatics. Muscularis propria or externa is um, in stomach is comprised of three layer of muscles. In most other uh, parts of the gastrointestinal tract, you have two layer of muscle, the middle circular and outer longitudinal. But here in the stomach, because you have churning of the food, you have inner oblique, middle circular and uh, outer longitudinal muscle. So three layer of muscle. And also serosa is uh, what's the outside of the stomach. Let's look at histology of gastric surface epithelium. Uh, it's also called gastric foveolar epithelium. It has cytoplasmic mucus globules uh, in small vacuoles. There are multiple small vacuoles of mucin at the surface of this epithelium. Basically secretes alkaline fluid, which protects the stomach lining from autodigestion. The deep glandular gastric epithelium is different. It varies between different regions. So in cardia and antral region, you have mainly mucus secreting glands, like with the, these mucus secreting glands have clear cytoplasm and the cells and the deep glands. Um, the only difference is that in the antrum, other than mucus secreting glands, you also have some endocrine cells, which is called G cells or gastrin producing cells. Fundus in body is mainly lined by fundic epithelium or axintic mucosa, which is comprised of you know, your surface epithelium and also parietal cells, chief cells, and endocrine cells. We're gonna go over all these in detail. So this is normal histology of cardia. So basically it's mucus secreting gland. You have your surface gastric foveolar epithelium, Deep glands are mucus secreting glands. You can see they have clear cytoplasm on high power. 
This is normal histology of fundus or bodies, epithelium. You can see there is accentic mucosa. As we said, the surface is lined by surface mucus cells. Then you have mucus neck cells, which produce acidic mucin. Then you have pink parietal cells. As you can see, these pink cells here, this is a higher power picture. You can see these pink cells, pink cytoplasm. So these produce hydrochloric acid and also produce intrinsic factor. Intrinsic factor is um, binds to vitamin B12 in the stomach and protects it from degradation and uh, till it gets to the small bowel and it can be absorbed. You also have some endocrine cells, these red cells. So your endocrine cells uh, here in the fundic mucosa, they produce histamine. Histamine can increase the acid production. You also have chief cells, the purple cells here, and also the purple cells here. If you look at them, they are bluish, purplish, you know, basically it's purple here. So these cells uh, produce pepsinogen and lipase. Pepsinogen is uh, transformed to pepsin by the aid of uh, hydrochloric acid in the stomach, and it helps digestion of proteins. Lipids will help with the digestion of lipids. So generally in the fundic mucosa, you can see that there is not much inflammation in between. So you have the lamina propria is the space between these glands. There are some very teeny tiny capillaries in very minimal, there's, no, you know, there's not much inflammation. If you have inflammation, it's a sign of pathology there. So normal histology of antrum, it's the exact same thing, like by H&E and uh, hematoxylin used in stained slides like this on the right, uh, you can see the exact same histology that we see in the cardia. But how do we prove that this is antrum? Antrum has some endocrine cells, endocrine G cells. These endocrine G cells release gastrin to the blood, which stimulates production of hydrochloric acid and uh, pepsinogen. There is some immunostain with immunohistochemistry. We can just turn these cells in a different color, and that's what you see here. G cells are gas immunostain for gastrin, but highlight the endocrine cells and the antrum, the brown. So in summary, stomach secretes acid and enzymes that help digest the food. The stomach mucosa is superficially lined by gastric foveal or epithelium. The deep gastric glands uh, are different or vary between different anatomic regions of the stomach. Thank you, that's all I have. Feel free to send me any questions that you have and follow me on Twitter, thank you.